You had a bad one. Was it was it the night you won your Oscar? The night I won my oh, I don't want to talk about that night. I had a whole meltdown. Um, <laughs> okay. I, it was, that sounds like, riveting. It I was a talk series about that. of things. It was like a birth control confusion. So I was like hormonal. I forgot that I fell on my face. I forgot to thank the director. So I was just like, what does it all mean? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> um, um, I just like I came home crying. And then my friend was like ordered the wrong pizza. It was in thin crust. It was thick crust. I was just like. Actual <laughs> <laughs> Iceland. That's that's Iceland. That's, yeah. that's cold. That was. Yeah, that was cold. So, so you, it doesn't look like it, but it was it was cold. No, you do look very relaxed, but uh, but apparently you were wearing were you wearing a thermally thing? Yeah, you know, because I was out there for a while, so they have like a very thin wetsuit that you put on so you don't freeze to death. Okay, well that's good. Yes. Yeah. And uh, it's funny because I actually went out. I was, I was they had a nice crane shot. They went out there in front of me, and I was walking out. But you know, if you have a wetsuit on, the air gets kind of trapped in there. Mm. And he's walking out, and the bubbles start coming up. And right when it gets to the level where it's at, all these bubbles come out. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like you fart, you know? And, and the camera's right there. And I'm like, I start giggling because of the, because of the, the bubbles, because they can feel them go up, too. And then I open it up to let the air out, and then all the cold went in. <laughs> so my reaction was all like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it was, Many emotions went through me. And then, and then so, so you were born here in London. Mm. So how old were you when your family decided to go back to, to Kosovo? I was 11. Oh. So I was born and raised in London, moved to Kosovo at the age of 11. And then I lived there until I was about 15 years old. And then at 15, I decided to come back to London. Um, I wanted to do music. And okay. as much as I loved living in Kosovo, it was a very different experience. And I mean, now everything's changed so much with streaming and uh, you can kind of be anywhere in the world and your music can be heard. I didn't feel that at the time. Like when I was living in Kosovo, there were so many artists that I wanted to see that wouldn't come there in concert. And um, I just felt like I wanted to come back to a place where there was so much more opportunity. Yeah. And so at 15, I moved back to London on my own. But, but, but how yeah. does that work? On your how, how does, yeah. how does <laughs> like practically, how does a 15 year old live independently in London? Well, I, had, I, I was living with a roommate and my parents knew her parents. And oh, that's she was, fine then. But she was <laughs> studying. She was studying here in London, uh, but she was older. We had we had a big um, age gap as well, and I think we got on for the most part until she <laughs> until she kind of went in my room and took pictures of my messy bedroom and sent it to my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Lin Manuel was on here, and yeah. he was talking about you know being so impressed by your singing. Mm. So weird to take a chance on someone who. Yeah. I mean, did, did you say you couldn't sing, or did you say I don't know? Well, so the reason why I'm Oscar nominated for this role is because of a friend who lied on my behalf, <laughs> and, and, and it's, his name is Greg Miele, and he's a he's a massage therapist in New York. He, he works on all of like Broadway dancers and singers in New York City, and he's one of my best friends in the world. So Lynn was getting massaged one day on the table, and, and, and he asks Greg, he says, hey, I have a thing that I want to make, and I might want Andrew to do it, but can he sing? And Greg, just immediately, without missing a beat, just said, oh my god, he has <laughs> the voice. <laughs> Is Natalie Imbruglia meets Jennifer <laughs> Hudson meets, you know, Ariana Grande and Aretha Franklin. And Lynn's like, that seems excessive, but sure. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the, the massage ends, and Greg immediately calls me and says, hey, buddy, can you sing? And, uh, and, I, and he's like, because you have to be able to sing, because now my reputation is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, but we all need friends who can lie for us. Matt LeBlanc, on, on Friends, Joey obviously had et a lot. He, everything, he, everything. everything yeah. But uh, what was the worst thing you had to eat on, on Friends? Uh, Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the trifle thing. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's, a, you know, there's a really funny story with that. So, when we, <laughs> when we were shooting that scene, uh, this is the meat trifle. Rachel, there's two pages in the cookbook get stuck together. There's a meat dish and a dessert oh. dish, and she makes half and half of each and mixes it together. Oh, okay. So it's like a meat trifle with whipped crisp. Oh, no. Really nasty. <laughs> but what we were actually eating was not that. It was, story-wise, it was just like whipped cream and some bananas or something. So Ross is saying he doesn't like it, and Rachel hears him and it hurts her feelings, but he doesn't want to hurt her feelings, so he, has, he eats the whole thing. 
He said, no, 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 it's delicious, and eats it all. But there was too much on his plate. So <laughs> he starts to eat it all, and he can't finish it, and he starts laughing. So we cut, and as we were cutting, he kind of spits it back on his plate like that. <laughs> But, and I'm sitting right next to him, and I didn't, I'm looking the other way. I oh, didn't no. see him spit it back on <laughs> the plate, yeah. right? So I take his plate, I go, give it to me, and I scrape some on my plate. I go, here, let's go again. And we go again, and now I'm eating it. <laughs> and we finish the take. No one says anything. <laughs> Cut to the rap party, and we're watching the blooper reel. And I'm watching, I'm going, oh, I remember this, this is funny. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You you do kind of look back a bit. Well, I mean, sometimes because yeah. the past shaped me. Yeah. Or, or sometimes I feel nostalgic. And you know, lots of amazing people were in my life. Tell me, we're going to look no at something. No longer exist. Yeah, because we've got a picture here. You posted this. Uh, what age are you here? Five or six. Yeah, and that's a talent show. It was the beginning of my my career as a performing artist. Did you win? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know who won. <laughs> She's dead now. <laughs> she died under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> it was a terrible playground accident. <laughs> uh, we've got some more pictures. This must mean, I think, when you... I think this is just you hanging out in a club with Diana Ross... Nile uh, Rogers. Nile Rogers. Wow. Jelly Bean and there. shitty ex-boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You can do the dead eye thing, can't yes, you? Yes, the dead eye thing was a thing I thought everybody could do, where I just sort of make one of my eyes go like a bit lazy oh, yeah, and weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, yeah see, yeah. some people, some other people too. can do it. You're doing something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's effective. I don't know what. Yeah, but so yeah. I just. Now I'm like, embarrassed. As soon as I, just kinda, I, just, I don't know if I can do it. And I think I've got a slightly lazy eye anyway, and so I just did that, and then it just it just makes me look very dead on screen. And as soon as and, and they put all the other makeup on and stuff, and when I saw that, it was like, okay, I don't have to worry about. Playing dead, I, I look really, really dead. But they made a dead Daniel. Yes, they did make a dead me. I and had dead me's made before, but this was the one that got put through the ringer like a lot. But Paul Dano wanted me on his back most of the time. He got very strong. I bet he did. Around. Yeah. And uh, dead Daniel, much excitement because dead Daniel's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's right oh, here. Yeah. Here is dead Daniel. He was there the whole time. <laughs> It's like it's weird because it's, it's like really it's like weird. he's it's like he's dead. It's like he's dead. Pop Don't him. put it next to me, please. No, no, no. You no. Will he sit up? Not really. <laughs> so yeah. Um, <laughs> touch, touch his hand. Touch his hand. No, touch his hand. No, 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 no. It's so creepy. No. Yeah, that's uh, that's weird. Uh, come on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he really is sort of falling apart at this point, but he's been sent down rivers, he got mauled by a bear. Like, this was all things we did to him during filming. It's and I... really good, though. Look at the, look at the, look at the, the, the eyebrows yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just... It's strangely horrible. I don't know, I don't know what's happening to it at the end of the press tour, so if anybody, you know, wants Action. it... <laughs> Maybe not. Actually, given your enthusiasm, I feel like maybe you could not have this. <laughs> what is the main thing that you've learned since you have a child now? Oh, no, I... I well, I, I don't, I'm at the beginning of this journey. Can I throw it back to you? What advice would you give me? Put that cookie down. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, I think that the, the important thing... Well, my wife and I, we kind of split up the responsibilities. Yeah. Uh, she was in charge of education and of uh, making them really good human beings. Yeah. Mm. And... Uh, <laughs> I'll let my girlfriend and, take uh, that one. Yeah. But I was in charge of the discipline. And uh, oh, yeah. so I made the kids, to, you know, I taught them how to turn off the lights when they leave the room, uh, not to waste water because, you know, we have droughts in California, mm. um, how to wash their own clothes. By the time they were like five, six years old, they had to wash their own clothes and their bed wow. sheets and make their own beds. Six, yeah. Yeah? Make their own beds, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so I taught them how to do that. Uh, yeah, that my wife did not know how to do that, but I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, you know, so firm with I knew how to do that. Uh, and, and because I lived long enough by myself, it's, I always washed my own clothes. And I also learned it in the military, how to iron, how to sew on buttons and how to sew things and stuff like that. So I kind of used all of that. And when we went skiing, um, you know, my, my, my kids started crying after 
one run and they said, can we get hot chocolate? You know, we are cold. And I said, there will be no hot chocolate. Yes. <laughs> I said, okay, we're going to do four runs. Yeah. Yeah. And then after four runs, there will be hot chocolate. <laughs> so we were out there for an hour and a half. We were skiing. And then we were going, getting the hot chocolate. And they were crying. It was... They were, they, they were, they were, they were, Hey, uh, congratulations to you. Of course, since you were last here, uh, Avengers Endgame has gone on to be what, one of the most successful films of yeah. all time in the world ever. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that must be a great feeling to go out on that high. It, uh, it's incredible, yeah. yeah. We, I mean, we talked about it what, three weeks ago, four weeks ago? Something like that. I've, just been, <laughs> I've been in the dressing room. <laughs> I know. If I, I felt like I believe, I mean, you just wait. I've never left. I'm, yeah, let me your, back in, yeah. let me back in. Oh, the wasting time uh, in that cab is going to be expensive. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we weren't able to talk about it then, but now we can talk about uh, poor old Thor yeah. in that film. He sort of, he did eat his feelings. He definitely ate his way through his emotions, yeah. <laughs> he did. We've got some pictures. Um, there, yeah. there you are eating your feelings. That's it. But now, you didn't do that. Oh, no, that was my uh, full Raging Bull Oscar attempt. <laughs> <laughs> Look, that, I mean, cause it's, so this is a fat suit. This is, no, it's the most remarkable thing. It, it, it's a... It's uh, so good. It's a... It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> prosthetic uh, latex kind of thing, which literally I would slip into. It weighed about 60, 70 pounds, was that 30, 40 kilograms, yeah. with a zip up the back. And they're taking photos of my body and then every little sort of the, the, the hair or freckle or whatever the hell that was on that thing. It was, it was, it was, that, that's my body in, in like six months' time. <laughs> After this. And like Thor was depressed, but we, was it depressing walk for you walking nah. around like that? No, nah, it was so much fun. It was cool. <laughs> Did people treat you differently? As they didn't <laughs> yeah, every time I stepped toward the catering truck, they were like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Big guy. Yeah. <laughs> the treadmill. You were not always alone. You were in a Tahoe, Nevada, and you had uh, visitors. You had critters come to call. Oh, lot, yeah, there are lots of wild animals around there. Yeah, lovely, lovely to sit and watch this, you know, beautiful wildlife happening in the Sierra Nevada. Incredible. But yeah. big wildlife. I mean, you posted this, mm. uh, this video. I think it's you and Taylor, and a, there's a bear, essentially. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Wow. I think this guy's asking for some food. Go on. Helen is not having it. Not on our decking. Not on our decking. Oh, you're outside of it. I am. I will be. Oh my god. Go on. Oh my god. Watch out. No, he's fine. You can't. Go on. 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 Oh my God, that's the biggest fly I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Got it. That is an enormous that fly. That was like a bird. You know how you kill a fly? <laughs> I know, it's, I know oh. if it landed here, what you do is you go, oh, oh get it over here. Because you put it there and you go, because the fly oh. feels the pressure of the air coming from either side. So you trick it oh. and you go, <laughs> and you get it every time. Clever murder. Fly yeah. killer. That's the best. Wow. <laughs> so embarrassing. Sorry. That fly has no idea what the danger it's in right now. Oh, I so hope he comes back. <laughs> now listen. Oh! <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Did you just drink the fly? Oh, my sweet God. <laughs> Is it alive? Is it alive in your hands? It's okay. in the wrong way. Okay, I, I put, put it, it there. I took it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm taking this thing down. I gotta tell you. It's drunk now. It's drunk. <laughs> I've chewed it. <laughs> I took a drink. And I was like, I didn't realize I had any ice in there. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. Oh. Okay, are you ready, Steve? Are you ready? Oh! oh. 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 That's <laughs> 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 Oh, it's 
like... It's like CSI Fly. <laughs>